how to turn on the login button within Shopify. This is relatively simple. We can do this together. You can do this more importantly. So what we want to do when we're in this Shopify dashboard is we want to go to our settings and then we want to go to customer accounts. And then once we're in customer accounts, we want to look at this top portion here. This is the accounts in online store and checkout section. So what we can do is we can click this button on the left for edit. And then this is the magic button we are looking for. Show login link in the header of online store and at checkout. If this is clicked, the login will present itself as an option in your header and at your checkout. If this is not clicked, nothing will appear. If you click this, you'll notice that it's giving you an option for new customer accounts or classic customer accounts. And it tells you the difference between the two. But we won't get into that today because we are just trying to show the login link in our header one step at a time. That's how you make progress with e-commerce, not getting overwhelmed by a million tasks all at once. So click show login link in the header of the online store at checkout, click save, and we can go back and we can verify that this is in our online store. Always a good idea to refresh the page once you make a change. And then when we go to our sales channels here on the left, we go online store and we can view your online store with the eyeball icon here. We click this, once the website loads, we can see our login icon has now appeared. Without that checkbox, this center icon would not be here. It would just be the search and the cart. This of course is the Dawn theme. And depending on what theme you're using, if it's a Shopify or a third party theme, if it's a free Shopify theme or a paid Shopify theme, this can all look extremely differently. But we have now completed the task of how to add the login button. You can have this for a number of reasons. You can make it so that your online store is not visible unless people sign in. You can make it so that when people buy a item, they have to log in to their customer account in order to buy it. You can also make it so that if they check out, they can log in if they'd like with their customer account or with their shop account, or they can check out as guest. That's the option I use on my stores and is most common in the industry because customers that have a shop account do get a lot of benefits and it helps expedite checkout a lot faster if they use their shop account. But for new time buyers, we I don't personally on my stores require them to log in in order to buy, but it all depends on your store and what you're selling, who your ideal customer is. And then of course you could just have it for the last reason, for aesthetic reasons. I mean, you wanted just to have it, I've seen this before, just at the top here to fill in some space, make your website look more complete. And just by having that icon there is aesthetically pleasing and helps make the site look more full and more complete. That's also an option. Of course, if somebody clicks on this and you don't have really much more after that, then that's a whole other problem that we can work on. But look at that. Now you know how to add the login button. You are one step closer to achieving your small business dreams, and that's all it takes in e-commerce. One day after another, goal, accomplishment, goal, accomplishment. And over a long period of time, that progression compounds, and that's what drives success in this e-commerce industry. If this tutorial has helped you, please leave a like so that I know. If you wanna join a free community, of like-minded entrepreneurs and want to stay up to date on all the new updates, all the breaking news and Shopify how-to tutorials, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.